Hello my wonderful YouTube audience over there on the other side of the screen. Today I want to be telling you all about this book over here by Tony Robbins and Tony Robbins. Money, master the freaking game. Master that freaking game, you know. This book is amazing, you know. And why is this book so amazing? It's because if you are a creative person and you read this, this is not a book about money. This is a book about ideas. This is a book about, you know, all kinds of things, you know, this is a book about consequences, you know, creative consequences, and it's awesome. But this guy goes over the basics of finance over here. Uh, he goes over the basic traps of uh, human life on planet Earth, getting into too much debt. Uh, he goes into like investing or, or, or like should you invest in like separate stocks, should you invest in like index funds, how should you use your money, where can you save, where you cannot save, should you save over here, this kind of thing. The, this book like gets you thinking and gets you make those right risks in your life. That's what I feel. This book makes you kind of step back and think about your financial life and think about the situation you're in and I feel that that's one of the reasons this might be such a you know you know popular guy because everything he says can be kind of kind of modified to your own life circumstances you know that's what I feel about this dude and in the end of this book there are a couple of these or actually quite many of these uh, investing masters and their stories and you know interviews with them and they are also pretty interesting you know he talks about uh, his uh, contacts or his customers you know this is a life coach Anthony Robbins is a life coach he has you know helped you know, world-class talent, you know, and when you start reading Anthony Robbins books, if you are like pretty far into your self-help journey like I am, you know, you're going to see something pretty great happen. And don't ever like expect to like fast or to, you know, big of like jumps in your life in general, you know, but these books are stepping stones to the right I kind of a right path to live your life and I think this book was a great read for me because I tend to be a kind of guy that uh, for example if you think if you think about this you know uh, this guy basically se sets it to you like this uh, investing can be kind of great but at the same time you know you can lose your money and at the same time you will have to be a little bit more patient and at the same time there's no kind of a guarantee and it's still a kind of business you know so what i gained from this like like the like what i really like taught in the end that maybe what you should do is that uh, you should, the, the guy talk about diver, diversifying, this is what I kind of try to do, but you know, I'm not a money man, you know, I'm just an artist. Uh, I might be in the future, who knows, this might be a great book to read for your future also, uh, for the price, I think it's pretty great advice, and I got a huge amount of like great video ideas and you know, these kind of things to say in my videos through this book. And yeah, he talked about comedy and in how in comedy you have to deliver the right punchline just at the right moment, kind of like in, in investing you have to buy and you have to sell just in the right moment. Uh, but I feel that uh, uh, you shouldn't maybe go this way in your life that you just try to play the system because if you only have that skill, you know, he kind of showed that there are these masters, you know, that know this fucking world so well and they know how to play the game, so to say. And I, I, would, I would say that I'm not interested in playing that kind of a game, you know. But uh, what I kind of gained out of this book is the possibility that if I at some point find a company that I really believe in, uh, it would be a wise idea to own or buy stock out of that company if it's kind of, you know, cheap at the moment. What I really kind of gained out of this is that uh, I, I, used to, I used to have some money, you know, in, the, in index 
funds, you know, and I think it's not a great idea because you divide your money into the most biggest companies and like they are also the worst companies, McDonald's, you know, Coca-Cola. Do you really want your money there? Like, do you really want to own those companies? Like, even if a small sliver, you know, I don't. I, like, that's stupid, you know. I would never be a customer in their freaking, like, their business, you know. So I believe that uh, the ethical way to do is in investing is that you have to believe in the company, you know. And you have to kind of, it's kind of like rooting for a sports team or betting for a horse. This is what the guy said pretty straight that, you know, stock investing is a gamble. Yeah. And it, it might be a gamble. Then he talked about, talked about gold and he talked about uh, uh, like other, other ways, how, how much you should have, for example, in stocks, how much you should have in bonds, how much you should have in gold and this kind of stuff. But I, fe I feel that, well, for example, gold. Gold is a very, you know, stable thing. Uh, you should have some gold. That's for sure. You should have some gold. Uh, but uh, it's not the way to go, you, you would say. So you should diver diversify. And I think you should have a passion, you know. Uh, if you just try to play around with, play, play the system, you know, that's not very, maybe very passionate, you know. Uh, but there's this book, if you're really interested in this stuff, there's this book by... Who's the, who's the guy? Is it by Rockefeller? You know, I, I'm, I'm not really sure, but the name of the book is Alchemy of Finance. Uh, you can you can check it out. It's it's all about this stuff. Uh, this is just, you know, an introduction. He talks about retirement also. Uh, retirement in uh, Finland is very different than, uh, well, it's it's different. Uh, it's, it works through, it works through, I think, like taxation and they kind of like calculate how much did you pay taxes in your career and how much did you make and based on that they kind of calculate your uh, retirement but everyone gets a base retirement in Finland and that's pretty great but in USA uh, this is not this is company based and you have something called four five one okay you know and they have retirement plans and some people some people put a lot amounts of money into uh, uh, like these retirement plans that uh, actually you know they make money for the you know the what's the guy called is the broker no but you know the guy that manages your money and i have never really understood this guy this kind of stuff you know because it's so well it's really different in finland you know and he talked talked about taxes you know in in finland you know taxation taxation is well, well, it's it's kind of we have more public services that you are bound to use. You are bound to uh, get uh, dental care usually if you are. You're probably going to get sick if you live in the Finnish society. Uh, if you, if you drink all that alcohol and you know you might get a fucking liver transplant at some point, you might get a cancer. You know you are bound to get sick. Uh, so taxation taxation is Finland is kind of. There's a lot of public services that uh, like fund, you know, tax uh, that are being funded by taxation. So I would say that money in general is very, di it works very different in uh, Finland. Finland and the opportunities are very different in this country. And that's one of the reasons why I try to get so good in English because I don't want to, I don't want to stay in this country. I have a dream of someday working uh, with uh, like, this middle point between fashion uh, technology and art you know that's my that's my biggest goal for my life is uh, or be, my biggest vision for my life is basically to do something that's related to maybe self-help maybe fashion art and technology combining all those all those things in together maybe even something like acting you know and becoming this you know like i want to become an influential figure uh, but maybe I'm not target. I'm not targeting to be this kind of this kind of uh, self-help dude, you know. But it was a great it it was a great book to read, and I really digged this book and how it was written, you know. Uh, and I wouldn't have bought a book about money management from any other dude uh, because I actually I actually re read a few of these books in my past. 
and yeah, none of none of them really. Well, they help me kind of, but you know, I'm 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 an I'm an artist. I'm a passionate guy. I tend to fuel all my monies into what I do, and I tend to make very little out of what I do at at least at this point. I hope that that will change in the future. I hope that I can help some industry to make huge amounts of you know money. And he talked about adding value to other people's lives, and how really your wealth comes out of your ability to add value to other people's lives. I hope that at the moment in my life I'm kind of like sowing seeds that uh, that around me like in terms of my karmic stuff and in also in terms of my like future uh, even in the fi financial sense I hope that I'm so sowing the right seeds at the moment in my life and at some point I will like start harvesting what I did uh, in my youth. Uh, I'm only 27 years old, you know, so I'm just, you know, starting and he kind of like, he hones down the point that usually when people really start succeeding, they are at the peak of their career, usually, well, not in sports, but you know, yes, in some other, other things, you know, 40s, 50s, maybe even 60s, they just start to like hit those like, you know, home runs. Um, yeah, that kind of stuff. And I, I, I'm, I'm doing at the moment, I'm doing a kind of, you know, I'm starting to get, you know, contact, contacts through like fashion and fashion and art. And I'm trying, I'm trying to work with all kinds of, you know, all kinds of people. And I'm trying to help people in general with their life. Everybody I meet, you know, is important. And I try to help them in some way, in some aspect of their life. Might it be, might it be you know, some addictions in their life or their motivation or their creativity or their maybe even their, you know, career, their way they talk, the way they dress, you know, I try to help everybody. I try to give some idea how you can be better. And uh, I feel I feel that this guy has exactly the same like thing, but I feel that as a self-help dude, True the Detective has something more. And uh, I believe I believe that, you know, this guy, this guy helped me a lot, you know. This guy helped me a lot. So thanks for watching. Anthony Robbins, read all the books by the guy. He's amazing, you know. He's amazing, you know. I, I, I believe that you think I'm pretty amazing too. Because you know I'm a Finnish dude. You know, like how many Finnish people can even like tell you about this in this way. Well, not many, <laughs> you know, I bet not your neighbor could do this kind of video, even of a book. So thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button, click that like button. I do video, I do book reviews, I do art videos, I do fashion videos, I do all kinds of funny stuff. I do vlogs, uh, I do everything that you can do on YouTube. Well, not everything. I don't do co GoPro videos while driving a motorcycle at high speeds, you know. Uh, and this guy actually ta uh, talked about the guy that uh, was in a motorcycle accident and then uh, got into a plane accident and did you know that Anthony Robbins actually uh, had a brain tumor at some point and he had other health problems in his 60s also and the next book I'm gonna review by the guy's life force and that's the last book he has written and uh, it's it's he's a really he's a really great guy. You can feel the energy, you know, through the pages. Uh, I would hope that uh, I think the guy is still alive. I think the guy is still alive. Uh, I would hope that I would be able to attend uh, one of his seminars. But I'm still I'm thinking that I should be in general, you know, starting start to attend uh, kind of self developmental seminars and find those people, you know, around me. Uh, there was one Finnish. Uh, self-help dude that wrote this uh, book called Get What You Want, Saa Mitä Haluat, the uh, Ilkka Koppelomäki. Uh, and he talked about in the book, uh, he atten attended one of the Awaken the Giant Within seminars by Anthony Robbins. And that book, I don't know if, 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 if it has been translated to English yet, I think it has I think it has been translated. It's, it's something like get what you want. Ilkka Koppelomäki, a Finnish self-help dude, uh, a sports guy, a triathlonist. Uh, really a great, really a great book. And that and that book kind of inspired me that hey, check out Anthony Robbins. And I feel that I checked out Anthony Robbins 
content just at the right moment in my life. This book is kind of the kind of book that I should have maybe read this like like years down the line. This is pre this is this is something that you gain most benefit out of when you you know you have gained that kind of you know financial success in your life. I hope I'm he I'm hope I'm heading there but you know, as I said, I'm a 27 years old, years old guy and I have some health problems that kind of hamper and hinder my ability to function in this world and I hope that uh, the Finnish society can kind of help me because I feel at this point already that I'm kind of helping Finnish society a big time. So I, I hope that I can get something something out of this and you know, that, that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching. That's the book review of the week. Check this time.